أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي زاوطنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصر وآتينا موسى الكتاب وجعلناه هدى لبني إسرائيل ألا تتخذوا من دوني وسلم ذرية من حملنا مع نوح إنه كان عبدا شكورا وقضينا إلى بني إسرائيل في الكتاب لتفسدن في الأرض مرتين ولتعلن عروا كبيرا فإذا جاء وعد أولاهما بعثنا عليكم عبادا لنا أولي بأس شديد فجاسوا خلال الديار وكان وعدا مفعولا ثم وددنا لكم كروة عليهم وأمددناكم بأموال وبنين وجعلناكم أكثر نفيرا إن أحسنتم أحسنتم لأنفسكم وإن أسأتم فلا فإذا جاء وعد الآخرة يسوء وجوهكم وليدخلوا المسجد كما دخلوه أول مرة وليتبعوا ما علموا تتبيرا عسى ربكم أن يرحمكم وإن عدتم عدنا وجعلنا جهنم
really, so we're not going to really go into too much detail on that regard. But just understand that today's class is an introduction. And as always, on the notes will be posted after the class, inshallah. And then once, whenever Allah wills for us to finish our lessons or our interpretation, we'll try to put it all together for you guys. And may Allah make it successful. Inshallah, may Allah, may Allah purify our attention. And inshallah, I'll pass it to Ustaz that he will begin the lesson. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم وعلى وسابع جمعين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله ذا العظيم يا ولكم إن شاء الله to Wednesday class as we do always he will read and we'll read after him explaining how to recite at the same time إن شاء الله explaining its meanings we pray may Allah increase our knowledge may Allah سبحانه وتعالى make it beneficial knowledge. Now, Ekor. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. So we all open Surah to Yusuf, inshallah. Please open Surah to Yusuf. Yusuf, inshallah, we say after him, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب المبين تلك آيات الكتاب المبين إن أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون إنا أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين إذ قال يوسف لأبيه يا أبت إن رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا إذ قال يوسف لأبيه يا أبت إن أحد عشر كوكبا إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيت لي ساجدين قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين وكذلك يجتبيك ربك ويعلمك من تأويل الأحاديث وكذلك يجتبيك ربك ويعلمك من تأويل الأحاديث ويتم نعمته عليك وعلى آل يعقوب ويتم نعمته عليك وعلى آل يعقوب كما أتم مها على أبويك من قبل إبراهيم وإسحاق كما أتمها على من قبل إبراهيم وإسحاق 
إن ربك عليم حكيم إن ربك عليم حكيم لقد لقد كان في يوسف وإخوته آيات للسائلين لقد كان في يوسف وإخوته آيات للسائلين الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا اللهم يا رب نوب قلوبنا بالقرآن اللهم اجعلنا من أهل القرآن may Allah make us among the people of the Quran may Allah brighten our hearts with Quran الحمد لله as we all heard uh, from our brother Silla Bakari that uh, we are going to take a journey together inshallah is going to be long we pray may Allah give us long life to be able to finish as we started as we did to Surah Al-Hujurat may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us long life and give us understanding and this surah brothers and sisters Wallahi, it was not planned until today. Because I was thinking which surah to start again after we finish Surah Al-Hujurat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in His mercy put in my heart today discuss with the brothers and sisters Surah Yusuf. And Allah knows best, Surah Yusuf has a lot to do with our lives. So inshallah we're going to take a journey in this beautiful surah. Surah to Yusuf, brothers and sisters, a beautiful surah that gives hope after people have lost hope. Surah to Yusuf was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Mecca. It was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after Surah Hud. Surah to Yusuf. This Surah, brothers and sisters, Allah revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give him hope and to reassure his heart. Allah revealed it during the time of the year, during the year of sorrow. Amul Huzmi. Amul Huzmi. The year of sorrow. This year was so hard on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. They went through a lot. They were punished. And the Prophet ﷺ lost his beloved wife, Sayyidatuna Khadija radiallahu anha. Ummuna Khadija radiallahu anha. His beloved wife. The wife that comforted him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever he is in pain or he's going through hardship, she was with him. She comforted him. She consoled him. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rabbi Allahu anha. Khadija. She helped him. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam with her wealth in his da'wah of Islam. When he saw Jibreel and he came to her, he ran to her, he said, Ya Mali, Ya Khadija, to Mali. Oh Khadija, what is happening to me? Inni laqad khashitu ala nafsi. Laqad khashitu ala nafsi. I fear that something bad might happen to me, Ya Khadija. What is going on? Because when he saw Jibreel, it was scary. You know when you saw him in the cave of Hira, uh, cave of Hira, the Quran, when he squeezed him and let him go and squeeze him and squeeze him. The time of Iqra, 
So he was scared. He came home saying, Zammiruni, cover me up, cover me, cover me. So he said to his wife, beloved wife Khadija, Laqad khashitu ala nafsi. I'm afraid something bad might happen to me, ya Khadija. And subhanallah, she comforted him. They covered him. And later when he calmed down, he narrated to her what happened, what he saw. And listened to her beautiful talks. She said, Kalla wallah. لا يخزيك الله أبدا. She said, No way. Allah, by Allah, Allah will never disgrace you, Ya Rasulullah. And listen to these qualities that she mentioned of her husband, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said, إنك لا تصل الرحمة. By Allah, you keep good relations with your close relatives. وتصدق الحديث. Count it. And you speak the truth. وتحمل الكلة وتكسب المعدومة. And you help the poor and the destitute. سبحان الله. وتكر الضيفة. She said, and you entertain your guests generously. وَتُعِينُ عَلَى نَوَائِبِ الْحَقِّ And you help those who are striking by calamity. صلى الله عليه وسلم She said for this quality that Allah gave you, for this quality that you, you, you have, Allah will never, never disgrace you. These are some of the talks of Ummuna, our mother Khadija, to the Prophet وسلم, that comforted him during that time. But subhanAllah, imagine this kind of wife, he lost her. Allah took her. And his uncle, who is between him and the Kuffar of Quraysh, who is always between him and the pagans of Quraysh, they are able to get to the Prophet وسلم, because of his uncle Abu Talib. Allah took him. So it was so severe on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Amul Huzni. So Allah revealed this surah, surah to Yusuf, to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to comfort him, to inform him of what happened to his brother Yusuf. What his brother Yusuf went through, the hardship, what happened to him. The envious of his brothers, throwing him in a well, making him a slave, putting him in a prison. He went through a lot. And the temptation of the wife of his master. All this he went through, but at the end, he became a leader. He went through all these tests. So, Ya Rasulullah, as if Allah is saying to the Prophet, your brother Yusuf went through all this, but at the end, he was happy. It's a test. Allah will test us. And if you are patient, in al usri, yusra. As sabr ma'an nasr. When you are patient, inshallah, you will succeed. And this reminds me of this poem by Imam al-Shafi'i. He said, Ya sahib al-hamm inna al-hamm munfarij abshir bi khayrin fa inna al-farij Allah Ida bulita fa thik billahi warda bihi inna al-ladhi yakshif al-balwa huwa Allah Wallahi ma laka ghayru Allahi min ahadin fa hasbuka Allah fi kulli laka Allah You have no one but Allah So, if you are going through tests Imam al-Shafi said, take it easy. You have no one but Allah, and Allah will make it easy for you. Just be patient. 
because Allah said ahasib al-nas ay yutraku ay yakunu amanna wa hum la yuftarun so do people think they will say we believe and we're not going to test them wa laqad fatanna alladhina min qablihim fa la ya'lamanna Allahu alladhina sadaqu wa la ya'lamanna al-kafirin so it's a test human being will go through tests so this surah Allah revealed this surah to tell the prophet to comfort the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to reassure the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also to whoever is listening to this surah is reciting this surah is a believer for you to know that Allah will take care of you so i was surprised after you know i decided we should inshallah uh discuss this surah i said maybe subhanallah many of us are going through tests we, we are going through a lot all these temptations all this depression all this distress a, a lot of things many people are depressed many people have fear anxiety they don't know what the future will bring so this surah will comfort us and reassure our hearts giving us hope that inshallah if we stick to Allah, Allah everything will be okay so inshallah i want us all today is an intro to this surah we're not going to do too much but inshallah i pray may allah give us long life and health to go through this surah ayah by ayah to the end of the surah in qaddar allah may allah give us long life to see that so alhamdulillah let's all buckle up inshallah and enjoy this beautiful surah okay today we will touch few verses and inshallah we will continue when we meet again barakallahu feekum now <clears throat> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب المبين ألف لام را Same thing we said, if you remember, some time ago we spoke about Surah 2, Surah Al-Qalam. Because this is Huruf Al-Huruf al The abbreviated letters of the Quran. So Alif Lam Ra. As we know, for example, we have Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Ali Imran, Surah Al Ankabut, Luqman, Luqman, Sajda. This began with Alif Lam Mim, right? And we have Surah Al Araf, Alif Lam Mim Sad. We have Alif Lam Ra. We have Surah Surah Hud. We have Yunus. We have Yunus. We have Hud. We have Yusuf. Right? Ma'am? We have Surah to, uh, surah to Yunus, Surah to Hud, Surah Yunus, Surah to uh, Hijr. Right? We have Surah to Hijr. It also started with Alif Lam Ra. We have Surah to Ibrahim. Al-Ra'd. 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 Ma'am. Surah to Ra'd. Alif Lam Mim Ra. Alif Lam Mim Ra. Ra'd. And we have uh, uh, Kaf Haya Ayn Saad. Yeah, Kaf Haya Ayn Saad for Maryam. for Maryam. And we have Taha for Taha. And we have uh, uh, Yasin. No, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. Ashu'ara <laughs> and Tasimi. So that takes Ashu'ara and Qasas. We have Nan Tasim. Uh -huh, let's go. Then we have Yasin, then we have Sod. The, no, the Hamim is not there yet. After we come to Hamim. Then we have Hamim. Let's go Hamim, Ghafir, Fasilat, Zukhruf, Dukhan, Shura. Uh, Shura. Ash, no, Shura, no. Shura, no. Hold on. You skip. Hamim. 
Sir, you skip Shura. I didn't skip it. I'm saying all those that have Hamim first. That's why. Shura's part of them. Ashura, Hamim, 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 I'm not there. <laughs> I didn't skip. So we have Hamim, let's go. But that's right. part of it, though. Hamim, Hamim, we have Rafi, uh -huh. Fusilat, uh -huh. Zuhruf, we have Dukhan, we have Jafia, we have Ah ah Ahqaf. Then we have Ashura, Hamim, Aisil, Qaf. Right? Then we have Qalam, Noon. Then we have uh, Qaf, Qaf. Hmm? I know it's before, but I put all the Surah that have Hamim together. Understand? Barakallahu alaykum. Just the way we did it now. Alif Lam Mim. Alif Lam, we say Ali Imran. Bakara Ali Imran. The Ankabut. Ankabut is all the way down, right? Barakallahu alaykum. So all these surahs, brothers and sisters, they started with Haruful Muqal, Haruful Muqatta, the abbreviated letters. And only Allah knows their meaning. Okay? We said a lot about it means some time ago. Allah said, Alif Lam Mara, Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubin. Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubin. That or those are the signs of the clear book, of the clear book or of the manifest book. Those are the signs of the clear book or those are the signs of the manifest book or those are the signs of the clarifying book or those are the signs of enlightening book, al mubin because it is an adjective of Al-Kitab, the book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defined this book as it is Kitab al-Mubin Al-Kitab Tilka Ayatul Kitab Al-Kitab al-Mubin Enlightening book or clear book or clarifying book because it is a book first Tilka Tilka as for those of you who are taking the, uh, our Arabic classes Tilka is something, is ismu ishara, which is a demonstrative pronoun that is pointing to something that is far or above. Right? Because tilka and dhalika. Hada, something that is here, you see. But tilka, okay, tilka, those are the signs. Allah SWT said, those are the signs of the clear book. Okay, Lirifati because of the high rank of the Quran. So Tilka, those are the signs. Those are the signs of the clear book. The clear book, Allah said the clear book because Quran is a book that gives vision. Clear vision. It's a Quran that differentiates between the truth and the false. It's a Quran, Quran is, a, is, is, is a book that make a person see the right thing. It is a book that differentiates between or distinguish between haram and halal. Tilka ayatul kitab al mubin It is a clear book. It's a book that has clear proofs to whoever is seeking for the truth. If you read the Quran, with an open heart, you will see the truth. So, tilka ayatul kitab al mubin Those are the signs of the of the clear book. Alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al mubin Naam. Alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al mubin إنا أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تأكلون إنا أنزلناه Indeed, we have revealed it as an Arabic Quran لعلكم تأكلون so that you may reason لعلكم تأكلون so that you may use your intellect لعلكم تأكلون so that you may understand لعلكم تأكلون The Arabs, Quran is a challenge for them. 
Allah challenged the Arabs with the Quran and the pagans of Mecca Allah said he revealed this Quran an Arabic Quran to be read in Arabic so that those pagans of Mecca will understand they will use their understanding and understand and believe that indeed he sallallahu alayhi wasallam is a messenger is a true messenger of Allah so inna anzalnahu qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'qilun na'am نحن نمس عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين. الله سيد نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين. نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص. We relate to you the most beautiful stories. بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن in that which we have revealed to you of the Quran. وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين. Prior to this event, you had no knowledge. Prior to this event. Prior to this, you had no knowledge. You had no knowledge of you were unaware of these stories. So Nahnu Nakusu Alaika. Nahnu, Allah use Nahnu. And Nahnu we. And we all sat here today because we believe in one God. We say Kulhu Allahu Ahad. We say La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah. Right? We believe that it's only one God. I saw a video of a brother taking shahada. I don't know if some of you saw it. The Imam said to him, Say, La ilaha illa, he said. Now he's translated what he said to him. He said, There is no God. He said, There is God. He said, He's trying to translate to him, La ilaha illa. So, La ilaha, there is no God. So when the Imam say, said, Say, La ilaha, he said it in Arabic. Now in English. La ilaha meaning there is no God. He said, no, there is God. The Imam said, no, just say there is no God. He said, no, there is God. <laughs> you know? So, la ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah. But here Allah said, nahnu nakussu alayka. We related to you. Here, nahnu you may ask, it's only, one, it's only one God. Why is Allah saying we? We because we call this the plural of majesty. We because Allah is al azim the greatest. Al-Kabiru. When you are going to pray, say Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. So, even the humans, you see a king saying, we told you guys not to go there. He is only one king, only one person. But because of his what? His majesty, thinking that he, you know, he has the kingdom and he has the ruling power. He says what? We, and it's only human. So here, Allah is saying, نَحْنُ نَقُصُ عَلَيْكَ Because Allah is the greatest. It doesn't mean we have many gods, but no, it's only one. It is the power of majesty. نَحْنُ We relate to you, O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. أَحْسَنَ القصص, The most beautiful stories. Why did Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala name this word the most beautiful story? The most beautiful stories. Our scholars said this surah, all those who were mentioned in this surah ended up good. They all end up good. Look, Yusuf alayhi salam, all the troubles and the tests he went through at the end, he was victorious. His father, he cried, as we will see in the surah later, inshallah. He cried until he what? He became blind. But at the end, what happened? Allah gave him back his vision. 
Yusuf was in prison. He came out, right? His brothers who plotted against him, he forgave them. Yusuf forgave them, and their father also what? Make dua for Allah to forgive them. Those his inmates in the prison, his inmates, they all took shahada. One went back to his work, and one was killed as a shaheed, as a martyr, right? The wife of his master, at the end, she took shahada. His master, at the end, he took shahada. So everything about this surah, at the end, the end story was what? Was beautiful. So, نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ بِمَا أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ وَإِنْ كُنْتَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ Although prior, you had no prior knowledge of the events of what happened to Yusuf. Now. إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين إذ قال يوسف لأبيه يا أبت إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين أي أذكر remember إذ قال يوسف when يوسف said to his father يا أبت oh my father إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا I I saw eleven planets or I saw eleven stars was shamsa and I saw the sun wal qamara and I saw the moon ra'aytuhum li sajideen I saw them prostrating to me if qala yusuf li abihi remember when yusuf said to his father ya abati we have kira'a first if qala yusuf li abihi Remember when Yusuf said to his father, it is read, Yusufu bidammi sin, Yusafu bifatihi sin, and Yusifu, all kira'at. So Yusufu, Yusafu, and we have Yusifu. So remember, when Yusuf, alayhi salam, said to his father, Ya Abati, the one that came, Yus, Yus, Yusufu, he said, if qala Yusufu li abihi ya Abati, remember when Yusuf said to his father, Ya Abati, oh my father, originally it was, Ya Abati, it is also read, Ya Abata, it was also originally Ya Abata. It was read Ya Abatu. So he said Ya Abati. Oh my father. Here. Communication between a father and his son. And this is what we lack today in many families. Parents don't talk to their children. Parents don't have special talks with their children. They don't, they don't have conversation. They don't communicate. And this is causing a lot of problems. So if Allah bless you with a child, let the child know that he can talk to you at any time. By doing so, you will know what, how he thinks and what's new. But if you don't give your son that chance to talk to you, he will talk to them and who are they? Do you know who? No. Maybe he'll be talking to someone who is gay. Because you're not talking to him. Let me, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. A 13 year old, her mother brought her to me here. The mother saw some stuff about her. She has a friend, a female friend. The girl will be calling her, telling her to take pictures and send it to her. So the mother, when she found out the father, they were scared. 
What's going on? And subhanallah, brothers and sisters, they came to me to talk to her. And alhamdulillah, I sat her down. I told her, don't be afraid. You can tell me anything. Why? What's going on? She said, the girl is too nice to me. She talked to me. She's too kind. She's too nice. You see where he's going? He's going? So that's why she said, yes, I feel like I can talk to her. So if she tells me to do something, she will do it because she wants to talk to her. And where did, why did this happen? Because nobody is talking to her. When she comes home, she's in her room. She locked the room. Father comes from work, maybe he's not going to knock and go in. How are you? How was the day? How was school? We don't do that. Most of the parents don't do that. And with all due respect, this is more on our fathers, our African fathers. Some of them don't talk. And this communication is very important between you and your child. Because by talking to them, you will know what's new. You will know how they think, what they're up to. And you will guide them. And when they know that you can talk, they can talk to you, whatever comes new, they will come to you. Daddy, do you know what happened? This is what they said. This is what I saw. Oh, this one is not good. It's haram. You remember we are Muslims? Allah said not to do this, not to do that. You understand? Oh, as for this, this is good. You can go ahead. Communication. But if we don't communicate, there's a problem. We have a lot of evil shayatun la'ins out here. Right? They're commanding and teaching your child bad stuff. Something that is not you. That is not your religion. That is not accepted in any religion. Not in Christianity, not in Islam. It is not accepted. But because some of the children don't have who to talk to, they talk to these people. And at the end, if you are not lucky, if you are not lucky, what happened? They go with them because they're too nice to them. So, if Allah bless you with children, Please, change the system. Change the game. Talk to them. Sit down with them. Talk to them and listen. What also some of our parents today, some don't do, is we only doing the talking, we don't listen. So all these are some of the things I told the mother and the father. We have to listen. As a parent, you have to listen to your child. Let them talk. Let them bring out what's in their hearts. Okay? This will, you know, give you the, 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 the you will know how to, to go by the problem that they are facing. Can look at you, so. Yeah, Abati, oh my father. Yeah, Abati, oh my father. So this calls for, it's a reminder for communication. We have to make sure we talk to our children. We sit down with them. Our daughters, our sons, sit down and talk. As a father, sit down. Today we are eating together as a family. We talk. And don't start the talking after they are grown. They have reached the puberty or adolescence or age. No, 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 no. Start from the what? While in seven, eight, nine, talk to them. So they get used to it. Believe me, even if she goes to college, whenever there's a problem, she will call daddy. She will call mommy. She wants to discuss with you because he or she knows that he can talk to you. So if God and you, Yusuf, Abi, yeah, Abati. I saw 11 stars. These 11 stars, some of the scholars said, these 11 stars are his brothers. These 11 stars were his brothers. Was Shamsa, and the, the son is his mother. Well, Kamara is his father. 
the end of the ayah, the verse, he said, li sajideen. I saw them prostrating to me. Look, you see, Quran is a beautiful, subhanAllah, word and it's a word of Allah. Look how Allah started it. For those of us who have background in the Arabic language, those who are learning, most of you here, inshallah, that we're taking classes, you know, we said if something is plural and you are going to give it a, a pronoun, you give it what? Who can give? Who, who can tell me? You give it what? Feminine. What kind of pronoun do you give it? Feminine. Fem huh? Feminine. Huh? Feminine? feminine? Yeah. Feminine pronoun. Singular. Um, yeah, feminine singular. Feminine singular. So listen. Is star human? Is sun human? Is moon human? But at the end, he said, "Ra'aytu li sajidin." I saw, I saw them prostrating to me. Allah did not say, "Ra'aytuha li sajida." Allah did not say what? "Ra'aytuha li sajida." But li ra'aytu whom? Allah is whom, and whom is for what? For human being. Ra'aytu whom li sajidi. So that means, so that's why some scholars say the, 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 the seven stars, I mean the eleven stars are his brothers, the son, his mother, and the moon, his father. Because at the end of the ayah, at of the surah, you remember, they will come and they will all what? We will get there. So, 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 so if Kala Yusuf li Abihi ya Abati inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaba wa shamsa wal qamara ra'aytu li sajidi na'am Kala ya bunayya la taqusus rufiyaka ala ikhwatika fayakidu laka kayda inna ashshaytana lil insan aduwum قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيد لك كيدا إن الشيطان بالإنسان عدو مريم. Look, listen to the reply of the father. You know what he said? Oh, my father. Now listen to the father also. قال يا بني. Oh, my son. Can you look look at this communication? Oh, my father. Oh, my son. Oh, my father. I saw. Eleven planets or eleven stars and the, the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating to me. Oh, my son, a beautiful communication between conversation between a father and a, and a child. Oh, my son, do not relate your dream. Do not relate your dream ala ikhwatik to your brothers. Fayakidu leke kaidan lest they will plot against you. Why? Inna shaytana lil insani aduhu mubin. For indeed, shaytan is a clear enemy to the human beings. Now, Kala ya bunayya, he said, Oh my son, la taqsusu yaka ala ikhwatik. Do not relate your dreams. Do not tell your vision, relate your vision, your dreams to your brothers. Fayakidu laka kaida. Lest they will plot against you. You and I here in this lessons in Surah Al-Hujurat, Right? We spoke about Right? What is al -Giba? Who can tell? What is al -Giba? What is al -Giba? Uh -uh, Don't do this to me. No, 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 no. What is al -Giba? What is al -Namima? I'm gonna call names. Yeah, I'm gonna call names. Yes. No, you're right. No, you. No, you. No, you. 
There are some brothers I'm not going to let them answer. You're not answering. What is Al-Ghiba? What is Rukatim al -Ghiba? Yes, Aisha too. Kia to point it at you, yeah. Yes. He wouldn't like. Vikruka akhaka bima yekra. But here, their father said to Yusuf, "Don't tell your brothers about your dream, lest they report against you." This one is not alghiba. Never. Sometimes there are some people you know, some people with experience by experience. Some people you know who they are. So if you know really who they are, you tell him, you know what? If you have a dream or a vision, don't tell him. You're not saying something bad about him or behind him. This is how you know the person. Okay? So, Sayyiduna Ya'qub alayhi salam, he knows who they are. And how did he know? He's a father. Maybe he observed how they were treating what? The brother. He observed, he saw maybe many things that the way they treat their brother because they're not from the same mother. Right? So when he saw that, he warned him, don't tell them. So this one is not what? It's not al -Ghibah. Never. He's a messenger. Of, he's, a, he's a prophet. He's a what? A prophet. He's pure. He's clean. Whatever he says is the truth. Understood? The reason why I make this clarification because someone might think, okay, okay, why did he tell him that about his own children? Because he knows who they are. You know, some people think crazy now. Yeah, someone can just think, okay, why? But you should know you are talking about a prophet. You are talking about a prophet. Yes, so. He said, do not relate your vision, your dream to them. Because some people are enemies of progress. They don't want to see people do good. They don't want to see you succeed. So if you have something going on that is good, let them just hear it at the end. Just give them the results. The end result. But don't let them know when it's happened. Because some people have bad hearts. And by the way, we have a lecture this Friday, right? About the hearts. It said 5 o'clock. What time? 5 o'clock? Yeah, inshallah. May Allah make it easy. This Friday. This Friday, this Friday right? Yeah, Friday. Inshallah. May Allah give us a long life. Make it easy, inshallah. Some people have bad hearts. All they want to see or they want to hear is bad stories. Oh, so and so had problem. Yeah, now they are happy. They are evil. You know what happened to so and so? He had an accident. He is happy. What kind of a human being are you? You know a couple, right? You see? So, they are enemies of progress. The Prophet said, If إِذَا رَأَ أَحَدُكُمْ رُؤْيَا يُحِبُّهَا فَإِنَّهَا مِنَ اللَّهِ فَلْيَحْمَدِ اللَّهِ when you had this, the Prophet said, if one of you sees a dream that he loves, something that he likes, he should thank Allah. It is from Allah. He should thank Allah, and you will relate it to someone. You tell someone. Another hadith. فَلَا يُحَدِّثْ بِهَا إِلَّا مَنْ يُحِبْ Do not relate it to anyone except the one you love. This one will show he loves me. You show he loves you. Okay? And be careful about you show he loves you because some people also they will smile in your face. But subhanallah. You know? Dangerous heart. They will smile in your face. But what they have for you in their heart, what they wish for you, not even shaitan himself will wish that for you. Some people are dangerous, guys. Some people are dangerous. They have bad hearts. May Allah protect our hearts. So, 
The Prophet said, if you have a good dream, dreaming about something, do not relate it to people just like that. Just let them see the end result. You achieved the success, mashallah. This is what I got. How did it happen? Yeah, while you were sleeping. That's it. And he said, if you see something also in a dream that you don't you don't like something bad it's from shaitan you ask allah you seek allah's refuge may allah protect you and do not do not tell anyone Inshallah, it will not harm you. It will not happen. Another hadith is telling you, if you are sleeping and you see a bad dream, something that woke you up, you know sometimes in the middle of night you wake up in a bad dream, you're scared. Look. Here, you spit on your left shoulder three times. If you were sleeping like this, then you change the position. If you were sleeping like this, then you change the position. From on, on your right, you go to left. On your left, you go to? Inshallah, nothing will happen. But don't tell anyone. Do not tell anyone. If you do that, Inshallah, nothing will happen. It will not harm you. So here, brothers and sisters, the father, he knows his children. He knows what they can do. So he told their little brother, لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين. Let's have a talk on this. Indeed, shaitan is a clear enemy to the human being. Shaitan, brothers and sisters, right now, he will start the waswas. Okay? He will put it in their minds. Now they will have this. Let's destroy him. Let me do this. And this time that we have a time of, now we are in a time of sihr. People are doing sihr as if they are Muslims. Believe me, people are doing sihr like your mind can, you will never understand. People bury animals alive. Just for dunya. That animal will ask you the day of judgment. You bury an animal alive? Why? Because of dunya. This is the work of shaitan. Mubina. He promised that he will lead you astray. Shaitan. He promised that he will lead us astray. Vain, empty promises. Do this. If you do this, and subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, you see one thing about envious, right? You see, look, Allah bless a brother with something. Allah bless a brother with Quran, for example. It's a blessing from Allah. But whenever you see him, you are angry. You hate him. You wish him dead. And if they put you in that position, you cannot do it. Then what's your problem? And if Allah takes that thing away from the person, it will not come back to you. You know what? Some people are crippled. They are sitting on the ground. They cannot move. They see you going up, they pull your leg. Come, let's sit together. Dangerous. And all this is the work of what? Shaitan. He, what, he, what did he do to our father, Adam, and Hawa? Shaitan. What made Kabir kill Habib? Why? Shaitan. 
So in the shaitan alakum aduun fatakhiduhu aduwa. Shaitan is your enemy. He's an enemy to you. Fatakhiduhu aduwa. Treat him like an iron enemy. So bless our sisters. Believe me, look. Ya iduhum wa yumanihim wa ma'iduhum as shaitan illa gurura. You see all these glitterings of dunya? Things that you yourself you know is haram. It is not accepted in Islam. But look, shaitan will make you love the thing. You want to do it. You know this is clearly haram. It is forbidden. But shaitan will lead you to it. Why? Because he wants to destroy you. لَأَقْعُدَنَّ لَهُمْ سِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ سِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ He said he will stand in your way that you will never get to Jannah. So, Allah is saying in Surah Al-Kahfi, أَفَتَتَّخِذُونَهُ وَذُرِيَّتَهُ أَوْلِيَاءَ مِنْ دُونِهِ وَهُمْ لَكُمْ عَدُّ Are you going to take the shaitan and his agents, shaitan and his family, as your friends, while knowing that they are your clear enemies? So, brothers and sisters, fight shaitan. Shaitan wants to lead us astray. Shaitan wants to destroy you. That's why he is urging you, commanding you, whispering to you, do this. Do that. Do this. And at the end, كَمَثَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِذْ قَالَ لِلْإِنسَانِ كَفُرْ فَلَمَّا كَفَرَ قَالَ إِنِّي بَرِئٌ مِّنْكَ He will command you to do something. When you are in trouble, he stays, he, 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 he moves away from you. Now you are in trouble. Now you bite your finger. Had I known, and it's gone. It can never be fixed. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ Look. Shaitan whispered to him, he shot his friend. Just anger. He shot his friend. Now he is in prison. Life in prison. Had he exercised the patience of five seconds, it would have been gone. But your enemy wants to destroy you. Shaitan wants to destroy you. So he urged you, go, do it, do it. This is Shaitan. And Shaitan is disturbing and tempting you a lot. Because you see, Shaitan hates you sitting here listening to Quran. Shaitan hates that. Because look, this is the time that you are young. You are beautiful, you are young, you are strong, you can do the things that you want to do. No one can stop you and no one will see you. But you chose to come to the house of Allah to listen to the Quran. Shaitan hates that. But he's not going to leave you alone. The moment you leave the masjid, you are outside. Forget about what this guy said. Go ahead. As if you were not in the masjid earlier. You were in the masjid. But subhanAllah, he promised you, look. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Shaitan yajiri min ibn Adam majra dam." Look, he runs in our vein like blood. So he commands you. Now you are listening. Alhamdulillah, baby, the iman. You know, the heart is open. The iman. If you are not lucky and you are not careful, the moment you leave the masjid, it comes again. I want to do it. I'm gonna do it. So please, fight your enemy, Shaitan. Don't let Shaitan win. Be the winner. You are young, your youth, use it wisely. Use your youth wisely. It will never last. You remember? The Prophet Sallallahu said, يَغْتَنِلْ خَمْسًا قَبْلَ خَمْسٍ شَبَابَكَ قَبْلَ هَرَمِكَ وَصِحَّتَكَ قَبْلَ سَقَمِكَ وَغِنَاكَ قَبْلَ فَقْرِكَ وَفَرَاغَكَ قَبْلَ شُغْلِكَ وَحَيَاتَكَ قَبْلَ مَوْتِكَ Okay? Your youth. Take good care of your youth. Make good use of it. And inshallah, you will smile later. But if you let Shaitan, if you let him win against you, if you let Shaitan put you down, he will continue and he will never stop. And every time, you will be depressed. Every time you are down, you are not able to achieve your goal because you listen to the whispers of Shaitan.
So please, as a youth, fight Shaitan. Fight Shaitan. Shaitan is our enemy, is your enemy. So never let Shaitan win against you. Say, Inshallah, I will win against him. When the thing comes, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. It comes, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. There is door for zina. You say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. There is door to drink alcohol. You say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. There is way to smoke. You say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Not even a cigarette. Say, no. You can do the drug. You say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. He will run away from you. You have to be strong. Stand on your feet. Be strong. Say no to haram. And Allah will be with you. May Allah be with you all. May Allah be with us all. May Allah protect us. Shaitan is plotting against us. And sometimes Shaitan also has some agents. They are called Shayatir al Ins. Inna Shaitan al Insani Adul Mubin. Those parasites. Evil, dangerous. They are working for Shaitan. Shaitan will send them to you, and they will come to you as good friends. So watch who you are taking as a friend. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Al maru ala dini khalilihi fal yamdur ahadukum man yuhalil." A man follows his best friend's way of life. So let each and every one of you look to who he takes as a friend. Now look next to you, who is your friend? And ask yourself, ask each other. Is the person a good friend? Is the person going to lead me to victory? Or is going to lead me to destruction? Huh? Ibrahim, I'm good. Ibrahim, you go with Ibrahim, mashallah, I take you. Mashallah, just ask yourself. This friend that I have, that I'm talking to every day, that I'm texting every day, before I go to bed, we talk and talk and text and text. Where is he leading you to? Where is she leading you to? Where are you going to? So don't waste your time because they are out there to destroy you. They are out there to destroy you, to destroy us, and inshallah, they will never succeed. قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيد لك كيدا إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين بسر إن شاء الله we should stop here may Allah continue to bless you like I said this is a long story but إن شاء الله we will go ayah by ayah that's why I told you to buckle up because it's a series after series series after series إن شاء الله step by step until inshallah we get to the end. May Allah increase our knowledge. May Allah make things easy for us. Um, uh, subhanallah. The, uh, the announcement you want to say, Bismillah. Mm. 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 Mm.